Let's take a look at setting up a website using XPRS, which is under the website name of imcreator.com. Now on the site, once you've signed up, you'll have this wide selection of templates that you can choose from. If I just scroll down, you'll see that there is a lot of free templates as well as premium templates that you can buy. So if I come up, I might just choose a software landing page. Let's view that one and have a look. Looks good. Then from there, we'll click on edit. That's going to take us through to be able to edit our site. Now there is going to be a short video that plays whilst you're waiting for that to load. And then you can, after you've seen that, that just gives you a little rundown on how you actually use the site. After you have seen that, you come through to this page. So that's a look at the templates. Looking at pages and navigation, if you hover over up here, it's got slash home up the top to add in an additional page. I click on add a new page and we might have say services. You can choose their templates or you can choose a blank page. Uh, we might just leave this as services, adding the page, clicking through and that's going to be set up as an additional page on our site. So from there we'd be added editing the service page for anything that we do on the site. Now in terms of elements and blocks, they use what's called stripes. And if I click on here, this will show me what I can add in here. So I might have header, project services. I might have something say pricing. And I'll click on plus. And so that's adding in a stripe, which is a section that you can just edit each of those across. Now, um, you can click on this to edit the wording. So everything we can just click on and edit as needed. If you do wanna add in additional elements, if you hover over here, you can see a small plus sign comes up. You can do things like adding in videos and links and maps to it directly. So that's where you can add the elements into what's called stripes within here. Uh, so what we might do next is we might add in another page. So for this one, we're going to add in a blog page. And we're just going to call that blog. And we come across here. And from here, we'll be able to just add in our blog posts and edit the ones that we already have. So we can add in additional elements there. And we can also change some of the things around here. So to add in an additional post, we come over to the right hand side for the settings, click on add post. And that's where we're gonna be able to add in our additional blog post. And then we can just update those details and have that published. The final thing that we're gonna look at is just the settings for the site. So up the top here, we've got SEO settings, pro settings, and page settings. There's our page settings about how we want to have the menu laid out, the background, scrolling effects, and additional apps that you can add into the site. So this was a pretty quick rundown of the XPRS IM Creator um, editor for building websites, but it is something where if you're looking for a pretty design-focused website builder that is simple and easy to update, then this is something you should definitely check out.